The first on five, a two week investigation in Baldwin County has led to the arrest of two people who investigators say preyed on the most vulnerable in society, children and the elderly. 28 year old Alec Dvorak and 22 year old Destiny Ott have been arrested in a case involving his grandparents and her nine month old baby boy. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams is live tonight in Foley and Debbie, you've been following this case since it started and today we're able to share what we know. Yeah, so we got started getting calls of deputies looking for something on County Road 12 last week. Well, they found what they were looking for, and it could be a key piece of evidence in the torture of a child. Along County Road 12 in Foley, investigators use a metal detector looking for something. After hours of searching, they find it, a purple stun gun that you hold in the palm of your hand, squeeze it, and the ring provides a strong electrical charge. That's what investigators say 28-year-old Alec Dvorak used on a nine-month-old baby boy. Being able to get some justice for that nine-month-old was a big deal. Dvorak had already been arrested, charged with opening accounts using his grandparents' information and receiving several thousand dollars through those accounts. He also allegedly emotionally abused his grandparents with threats. At the time of that arrest, Mr. Dvorak actually had a nine-month-old baby in the car with him. Uh, didn't really think much of it at the time. Uh, gave the baby off to a, a family member. <clears throat> that family member got home and noticed some strange marks on the child. The baby is the son of Destiny Ott, Dvorak's girlfriend. According to investigators, they all live together. After examining those marks, getting the baby to a doctor, we determined that those were electronic burns. Investigators say Ott knew Dvorak had a stun gun and threw it out along County Road 12. It seems like her care for Mr. Dvorak was maybe a little bit more than what she had for her own child. She's charged with tampering with physical evidence. He faces additional charges now, including felony child abuse. When you are willing to do this to your own grandparents, when you're able to do this to a nine month old, I can't imagine that any other crime would be outside of his reach. Now, over the last decade, Dvorak has been arrested at least 17 times in Baldwin County, even more in Florida. Now, Ott has already been released from jail on that misdemeanor charge, but investigators say she could face and most likely will face more serious charges for the abuse of her little boy. On the Baldwin County Beat in Foley, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.